What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of TNT Genetics. I did a e-bike video today coming to work, but unfortunately something happened with my microphone and there was nothing but wind, so I gotta take a look at that. So I'm stealing a video from Tipsy's channel, which is his uh, his old bike from 2017. He bought a brand new uh, EM2, which was a, an e-bike, but it's like a street bike looking e-bike. I hate them. I, I hate them. Like, they're... They're not really comfy in that. I'm more of a Harley type of guy. I don't like those street bikes. But I rode it a few times. It was great. So he's going to, uh, this is a look back from a couple years ago, a video he posted, which I've stalled. Tonight, when you're watching this video, if it was just uploaded today on the 25th, I think, uh, February 2021, we are going live tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as we do every other Thursday. Cheers, y'all. Enjoy this uh, quick review from Titty. Cheers. All right. Here is my 2017 EM2. Got it from Daymac. <clears throat> yours, if you get yours, may not look like this. Someone backed into mine. It's all getting paid for. So other than that, you got this guy here that I didn't know about when I got it. So you can, it'll come with your USB plug-in or actually a cigarette lighter too that comes with it. Um, your pedals, so they will hit these. Um, I imagine you actually have to take them off to use the pedals because they hit. And if you have the center stand on yours, I took mine off because you cannot back this bike up with that center stand on, it'll hit. Uh, it's got nice bags for your passenger. Signals work good. You got your kill switch here, on, off. Yeah, it's your cruise control, horn, your lights, daytimes, and then your actual lights. And then you got your low beam and high beam over here, signals. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, what else is there? Another horn. Pretty comfy bike, easy to ride. It is pretty heavy. So it will take some getting used to. Um, <clears throat> top speed, mine won't say over, I think it's 32 kilometers an hour, but it really feels like you're doing 60. I think it needs to be calibrated. You can hook it all up to your Bluetooth app and adjust your speed. Your takeoff, turbo takeoff, anything you want. But I think I need to calibrate it so it will actually read the right speed. Because it says about 30 when you're really doing about 60, keeping up with traffic. Um, they don't take off fast, like the EM1 it takes off a lot slower than that one. Other than that, it's a great bike. I'll do some uh, riding clips here for you. Beyond GoPro.
It's pretty, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I should have got that on camera. You know what I'm calling? Tipsy's. It's Tipsy's first wipeout of the season.